couple of other stories I want to get to. Um, the New England football kit, head of the European, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, the European Championship has come out. Oh, I, Nike put it out. Honestly, I, I just want to. I just want to. Oh, I just want to slap these people. Can I say that? I probably can't say that, but I won't. I won't do it. I'm just saying. New kit. And they tweeted out a playful update to the cross of St George appears on the collar, the back of the kit, to unite and inspire. Um, instead of this simple, you know, white background, red flag, red red cross, because that is the cross of St George. They've decided to do it. I'm just. I'm just looking at my phone so I can just describe it. It's. It's sort of got red up and down the vertical bit, but the long bit. It's sort of pink and pale blue and, and, and dark blue or purple. It's difficult to tell. And they say that this is going to unite and inspire. Uh, I don't think it does <laughs> unite us football fans. And it definitely doesn't inspire anything other than derision and contempt. C complete derision. You, you've got a symbol for, um, for a reason. And as soon as you start messing around with the symbol, it's not a symbol anymore. Do you think, do you think they do that with, oh, I don't know, the Saudi flag? Do you, think well, they, do you think they'd do that no, with the but, Saudi but, flag? But do you I, think they would? Yeah, do, do you think Nike would do it with its own logo? Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, they, they wouldn't sit and oh, do they, that, so... They probably would. But again, it's, it's, you can see from the colours, it's the woke karate. Just leave the... It's the it's, it doesn't have to be an expression yeah. of, of diversity or whatever they it, think it is. It's, it's not. Just, <laughs> it, by definition, it's not. The flag is what we unite around. That is what we... The, the image is what... I don't have flags that colour. It, I've got white flags with big red crosses on. It's not the on. England flag anymore. It's not the England symbol anymore. It's so they're, basically so they're putting, a pretend they're putting something, pride they're, flag. Putting, they're putting something you know, weird onto oh, the England football shirt. Absolutely. Not that I'm a football fan. Um, and my accent well, I'm not a Nike fan, that's for sure. <laughs> um, that's also, are you worried about your Easter eggs going up in price? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you worried about them going down in size? No. Because if I want if I want proper chocolate, they're not they're not good value for money anyway. So right, yeah. okay. I'll, I know I'll, I'll, they're going to be shouting I'll, in my ear to I'll move steal on. Kids no, this is oh, we all, I mean, obviously <laughs> don't buy them too far in advance because you'll just eat them and then you have to hide the packaging. And we've all done it. Yeah. We've all done it. Um, but, and then buy another one. Okay, here's the thing. They're very bad value for money for the amount of chocolate yeah. you get. However, I put it to you: chocolate tastes better in an egg shape. It tastes I better. Uh, yeah. It tastes better in an egg shape. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to win. <laughs> do you think we should send someone out for some Easter eggs and we'll just try it? Easter eggs and a bar of chocolate and we'll do the taste we'll test. We'll do the test. You know you want to. <laughs> We've got expenses for this show? I don't think we do. Uh, also, I just, just gratuitously want to show a picture of Emmanuel Macron boxing, apparently. Um, I'll describe this. He has tiny little... No, he's got very muscly, but nevertheless very short, tyrannosaurus-y little legs, uh, little, little, uh, little, little hands. But it's very, very... Putin-esque pictures. Very Putin-esque. Put out black and white of Manuel Macron punching a, a, a sort of punching bag in his, in his boxing training. We see him very much as quite a sort of a, you know, a new man, sort of like Mr. Mr. Sort of nerdy man about Parisian town. A small man as well. Yes. yes. Do you think ahead of the European elections in June in, in, in France, which doesn't look like his party is going to look do very well compared to Marine Le Pen's, um, do you think that um, this is him just trying to do a little bit of the Putin? You know, riding around. He's going to be on horse, it, horseback naked at this rate. It is. He's, he's talking very aggressively at the moment. You know, he's talking yeah. very aggressively about French troops potentially going into, into Ukraine and various other things. So this is part of his, his move to try and make him... Uh, look stronger, bit more, more Put strong man. Putin-esque. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I just can't the calendar, wait. The calendar comes out next week. Absolutely. I, can't, I just can't wait for Donald <laughs> Trump to do the same. Uh, I wonder if we can see the equivalent of Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer. I'm not sure <laughs> oh, it would be no, very please. good. Anyway, right, so let's uh, move on. Let's uh, talk about their flagship at Rwanda, Bill. Uh, that is, um, oh, God, they've just had a big, they've just had a big well. bit of video up there. Oh, they've had a video of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of Keir Starmer, Starmer. <laughs> boxing. No, no not a no. good look, mate. 